Hello viewers, my name is Flores Maina, welcoming you to yet another time of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy this Sunday evening. As I've always said there before, I like to share Sundays in the afternoon or late in the evening. Listen, being we want to be mindful of those who did not manage to go to the house of God. And I want to stress yet again that if you did not go to the house of God, it is always important to consider going so that you can tap from the power of God. We need this word. And as I've shared there before about GPS, these days GPS are very important. If we can handle it, make it some places we don't know. And in the same way, with our lives. We need this word to guide us on the way. And so this moment, I want to be very sensitive of the time because our God is also sensitive of the time and seasons. And this is the season that we need to concentrate on praying for our government, not only in America but in, also in other places because it, that is good and we have been called to do that. I want to read from the book of Proverbs 21 and verse 1 and it says, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. He directs it like a water cause wherever he pleases. We have no need to worry. We have no need to fear. We have no need to be shaken because we know the heart of every king is in the hands of the Lord. As if it's in the hand of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, what matters is you and me letting the Lord know what we desire in our nations. Because if God is the one who holds the hearts of a king, the Bible calls our God, Emmanuel, God with us. He calls him Jehovah Shama. He calls, the, the, the Bible tells us that our God is Jehovah Nisi who fights our battles. The Bible tells us that the God is our Jehovah Rohi, our shepherd. He will shepherd us in the times of storm. He calms the stormy seas. And so in every situation, as long as we involve God, that's all it matters. You are there. Instead of being afraid, pray. Why worry when you can pray? No wonder the singer sang and said, why worry when you can pray? Trust Jesus, he knows the way. Don't be a doubting Thomas, just lean upon his promise. Why worry, 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 worry when you can pray? I want to tell you, we cannot pray and worry. We can only do either. So let us learn to seek God on behalf of our leaders, on behalf of our spouses, on, for, for the sake of our children, for the sake of our institution, for the sake of our government. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to know that no authority that comes to power without your knowledge. We want to thank you that your word has reminded us that the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. We thank you. We bless your holy name. Help us to be people who can intercede so that we can have peace. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you. Again, our text of reference today was Proverbs 21, verse 1. Let us continue to share this message and the Lord will continue to bless you. If you meet somebody who is worried, just encourage them with a word. In Jesus' name, thank you.